the majority of scientific findings never end up in medical diagnostics or treatment. This phenomenon has been coined the valley of death between researchers and patients. Translational medicine aims to resolve it. This is the core mission of the ITM and its research groups, aiming for different steps, scales, and ways of translating basic science findings into medical diagnostics or therapy. Where some groups focus on certain steps or tools along the translational cycle, others span the full cycle or work on the identification and reduction of the systematic barriers for translation. Early stage. Catarina Maniura Laboratory for Biointerfaces is working on novel diagnostic and therapeutic materials-based healthcare solutions. The team thrives to understand, characterize, and steer interactions of biomolecules, bacteria, human cells, and tissues at material surfaces. G.V. Shivashankar, Mechanogenomics, and his group are researching the mesoscale functional links between cell mechanics, genome organization, and gene expression during cellular aging, rejuvenation, and cancer at PSI. Viola Vogel, Laboratory of Applied Mechanobiology, and her team are advancing novel mechanical concepts towards the clinic by using computational and experimental technologies and imaging. Transition phase. Andrea Alimonti, Experimental Oncology and Translational Cancer Medicine, and his team are bridging cancer immunology, drug discovery, and tumor metabolism with clinical research to identify new experimental therapies. Nina Cabezas Valscheidt and her stem cell biology and aging laboratory envision to maintain a healthy hematopoietic stem cell pool and thus a healthy blood system during lifetime by distinct dietary interventions. Simone Schulefinke and her medical microsystems laboratory develop diagnostic and therapeutic systems at the nano and micro scale to tackle a range of medical challenges in healthcare. Band Bolscheid established the Molecular Health Laboratory and Departmental Biomedical Proteomics Platform to leverage information about the cell surface protein nanoscale organization for diagnostic applications. Together with their new ETHC DHEST ITM spin off disco pharmaceuticals multi specific therapeutic antibodies are being developed for the benefit of patients. Full cycle. Folkmal Falk Translational Cardiovascular Technologies connects ETH Zurich's world class engineering know how with today's clinical challenges to develop next generation devices as well as diagnostic and therapeutic strategies. Catherine Jutzler and her biomedical data science lab are working at the intersection of medicine, data science, and biology to identify causes, risk factors, and biomarkers of disease progression. Effie Vallena and her health ethics and policy lab are studying ethical and policy challenges in precision medicine, digital health, genetics, and AI for health. Their work addresses ethical issues throughout the entire spectrum of translation from basic research to the bedside. York Goldhan Translational Science is investigating and teaching medical translation, including principles of innovation management, barriers for translation, and systemic changes in the translational field. Members of the ITM contribute significantly to the education of students in health sciences and technology study program with 250 new entries each year. By supporting all aspects of the transitional cycle, we want to bring more tailor-made medical solutions to patients.